part of me really wants to tear this couple to shreds and say this isn't a marriage. They are not the example. They have a trash marriage. But truth is, the other side of me is like, okay, they've been married for so long. They're only human, not robots. They are giving each other grace in the marriage because they've been married for so long. Now, here's the shocking part. According to an old tweet, Hey you guys, before we get into today's video, I just want to take time, as I always do, to thank all of my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. If you're not already currently subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button right now. Also, I do have another channel called Brandy Be Your Beauty TV. Navigate to the first comment pinned to the top to check that out. Also, like the video, you guys. Comment on the video. I want to hear your thoughts, so comment and like. Um, and now let's get into this juicy topic. In today's celebrity couple toxic news, we are talking about Kirk and Rashida from Love and Hip Hop giving failed marital advice, but also some very shocking news that you may or may not know. In case you missed it, let's recap. According to the shaderoom.com, the couple revealed their secrets to lasting happiness and love when they stepped into the shade room at MTV's Video Music Awards on September 11th. The Love and Hip Hop stars opened up while speaking with TSR. Kirk explained that the secret is maintaining love, which requires navigating many trials and tribulations together as a team. He said this, you got to understand that you're going to deal with a lot of criticism from people telling you how you should be in a relationship. You got to have a friendship and you got to understand everything ain't going to be perfect. It's about a team here. It's like the team thing, Kirk stated. However, Rashida emphasized that communication and mutual understanding are key for her. She said this, just because you're married to somebody doesn't mean you know them like you should or understand them like you should. And throughout the years, I guess for us, since we've been together for such a long time, you know you evolve and change in life as you get older. And being open to that, Rashida said. Additionally, the reality stars kept it real when asked about how they feel about reliving certain moments from love and hip-hop. As you may know, the duo's relationship drama has continued to unfold on the show even to this day. Kirk stated that he used to handle things well when they first joined the show, but now he's not prepared for what comes with it. Kirk added that as he has changed, his wife has also evolved and her needs are no longer the same. When Rashida was asked about her current needs, the rapper replied, I like buildings and stuff and houses, she said while laughing. It used to be hash browns at the Waffle House. Kirk and Rashida Frost have remained a trending topic thanks to their appearance on Love & Hip Hop. Recently, their sit-down with Jasmine Blue went viral after it aired on the show. For context, Kirk has a son named Cannon with Jasmine amid his marriage to Rashida. Here's how people are reacting to this news. Someone said this, Dear future husband, I'm not Rashida, baby. I'm left eye. Someone else said, I rebuke this type of love in the name of Jesus and let the church say dot, 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 dot. Someone else said, He finna go cheat tonight. Someone else said this, There is a difference between being married and happily married. I'm not taking advice from my granny because she told me not to. She stayed in a crappy marriage because she had to, six kids and no money, which is why she told me to always make my own money, be independent and leave as soon as he shows you who he is. Somebody else said, don't nobody want the recipe to your misery. People are really not messing with this advice. Someone else said this, girl, shush, you should be embarrassed, go hide. Someone else said, I would never take a relationship advice from someone who is a side chick in her own marriage. Someone else said, he sounds, looks, walks, blink his eyes, lift his hands, turn his head, slow as hell, I'm sick of him, he not representing our good black men. Finally, others said this, pathetic and bad example, forgiving somebody for repeatedly cheating is so different from sticking with somebody through thick and thin. 
Someone else said, easy, get paid for your drama, lol, because ain't no way. And you guys, people are not here for the Kirk and Rashida advice at all. And I mean, rightfully so, most people have a fairy tale view of marriage. To most people, when you get married, you are supposed to honor your vows and not break them. You guys, I agree to an extent. A part of me really wants to tear this couple to shreds and say this isn't a marriage. They are not the example. They have a trash marriage. But truth is, the other side of me is like, okay, they've been married for so long. They're only human, not robots. They are giving each other grace in the marriage because they've been married for so long. Now here's the shocking part. According to an old tweet, a young woman alleges that Kirk adopted Rashida, had sexual relations with her as a legal parent, and married her when she was a minor. And while the allegations seem outrageous, many people on social media have bought into the hype. Kirk ended up responding to this. He says this, first of all, I ain't adopt Rashida. I'm not interested in adopting Rashida, he said. I would definitely not be in there uh, marrying anybody who's 17 and I'm 31. I know y'all read things on the internet and think y'all know things. Trust me, I'm not interested in marrying a minor. Never wanted to. My God, have y'all heard about this? Like, where have I been? <laughs> now, Kirk said that he and Rashida have been married for 25 years. Kirk is 55. Rashida is 48. So 25 years ago would make Rashida around 25, 26 years old. So that would make the rumors false. But still, where did this rumor come from? It came from somewhere. And if that is true, that is just a crazy, crazy story. But guys, I do struggle with the fact of, is a marriage still successful if it has survived cheating and a side baby? According to Divorce Magazine, 60 to 75% of couples who experience infidelity remain together. However, not all those couples remain because of love. Some remained out of fear of being alone, lack of anywhere else to go, financial issues, and so on. Is Rashida putting up with Kirk for finances? Is she afraid to be single? What is it? In my opinion, Kirk and Rashida should have just simply stated, we do what's best for our marriage and left it at that instead of giving official marital advice. They are a package deal. I actually saw them at Sam's in Georgia earlier this year. I didn't approach them or anything. I just don't approach celebrities. I don't do that. But they looked so cute. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They are always together. Um, but I think at this point, the relationship is some sort of codependency where, you know, at this point they have made the dysfunction normal and they feed off of that and can't stop. Anyways, what did you guys think of today's Celebrity Couple Toxic video? What do you think of Kirk and Rashida's marital advice? Do you think there's some truth to Kirk adopting Rashida as a teen, then eventually falling for her? Leave a comment. Be sure to like the video and share it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hi, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.